All right, so for these fabrication joints, we're gonna do six different tasks. Uh, I gave you a file, you gotta download it. The file should be out on Schoology. And the bottom of the page is called stock.skp.tmp. So it's a SketchUp temporary file called stock. So if you go to your uh, Amazon web service, launch back in and get to SketchUp. You're always stuck at this home screen. You can't get around it. So you got to go choose template, pick construction documentation. I got to maximize my screen size. I have to push to start using the program and bypass the error just to kind of get back rolling. And I'm going to make my screen small so you can see it better. All ready to go. So you guys on my Schoology page, download that stock file to your downloads folder. I'm going to open. I'm going to go from the downloads folder, but I can't see it. Why? Because it's a skp.tmp, not just a .skp. It's picked up one called all files. And everything you've downloaded since day one is going to be in your downloads folder. Oh, don't do this now. Try this again. All files open. Oh no, hold on. Okay, well, this worked last time. Now it's being weird. So you need to go to your downloads folder, wherever your downloads folder is in your Chromebooks. Um, mine is just off camera. There it is. So downloads, down, down, downloads. Here it is. And it's called that stock.s ap.temp, here it is right here. And you'd have to open up your Google Drive and just, oh, come on, downloads. So if I can somehow get these to both cooperate. Drag that file, drop it into your Google Drive, let it load, got it. Now watch, come back here. I'm gonna look at my Google Drive in my drive and then mine was in I'll let it load here hold on okay so I drag mine to my welding fab one folder and it's called stock down in the s's s-t-o-c-k right nope 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 I can't see it because it is not. It's all files. I'm gonna know. On the S's, ST, OCK. Got it. And open. And what it is, it's a piece of angle iron and some square tubing. This is one inch by one inch angle iron. This is one inch by one inch, sorry, one by one square tubing, and then one by one angle iron. There we go, okay. So now let's go back to that sheet. The sheet says to copy and paste to make six pieces of square tubing. So how do we do that? Let's go back. I gotta find a good angle to so just grab the square tubing. I gotta select it, and if I go Edit, copy, edit, paste, and I'll drop one next to it. So there's two. I can go edit, paste for a third piece, edit, paste for a fourth piece, edit, paste for a fifth piece, and edit, paste for a sixth piece. And it wants, it wants some. Um, Go back. Proof. So photo proof. I'm gonna go over here and do a screenshot of that and um get this screenshot taken. Come back to my document and I'll paste it there for proof. Okay, what's next? 
rotate any two of the six pieces of tubing. So go back out. Um, and zoom out a little bit, orbit a little bit. And I want to select just two pieces of tubing. I'm going to grab two. I'm going to grab a third by accident. Uh, nope, just two, two. So find two pieces, grab those. Rotate, do you remember that? You set it on, click move to grab, pivot, and then drop. But see here, they have now crisscrossed. Um, avoid that. So I'm going to go edit, undo, try it again, rotate. I'm going to go from this end maybe, click to set it, click to grab it, spin that direction, and drop it. Then they want a screenshot for proof. So do that again too, real quick. Screenshot that. Screenshot that. Drop it in there. What's next? Um, a butt joint tubing and a butt joint angle iron. Okay. These okay. are for yet. Um, those you want to keep. I just want to ruin your sheet, is all. So those are going to be on my two tubing first. For that to happen. I'm going to take one piece of tubing. For now, I'm going to use the move tool. Move. I'm going to make, click, move it out of the way. I'm going to rotate this one piece from this little top click, grab click. I'm going to type in 90 degrees. See the bottom of the camera screen, angle 90, type it in, hit enter. Okay. Um, those might be crisscrossing. I'm going to undo that real quick. Do that again. Angle, click, move opposite way, 90. Now for that butt joint to happen, i got to put this piece of tubing on that tubing, line up this end with this end. Now for, for um, I'd be very meticulous, so I want to put this top corner right on that top corner right there so get this top corner to that top corner okay so I pick this piece I'm gonna go move I'm gonna zoom way in and I'm gonna grab that top outside corner not on edge I should say endpoint click got it I'm gonna go over this piece over here zoom in on it to get to that top outside corner, line up nice and neat, click and drop it, and I'll do a screenshot of this here for proof. Okay, that's the butt joint. Um, angle iron, same way. I'm going to take one piece of angle iron, I got to copy and paste it. And I'm going to rotate that angle iron from the top. Let's go 90 this way. I want to move this here, top outside corner, to top outside corner. Line them up, drop it, and I do a photo for proof for those two. For those two, so I have the, the um, butt joint done, butt joint done, add the photos, lap joint, lap joint. Okay, a little trickier. I'm going to undo those so I have not so uh, pieced together. And undo that, undo. Okay, let's do the uh, tubing first. So I'm going to pick one piece of tubing. I'm going to move this maybe over here. I'm going to grab, I'm just going to copy and paste it. It's easier. So for the... Um, I'm gonna hide that too for now. So for this to happen, is I gotta have an overlap happen. One piece of tubing, I'm gonna overlap this tubing, kind of in a almost a butt joint, but not really. Rotate that 90, gonna move it close, and then zoom in on it so you can see what's going on here. So I gotta cut away part of this tubing, cut the tubing away. Made it part of the top, all the left side, part of the bottom, leaving this little right wing. This wing's gonna stay. This wing is gonna overlap 
that end to seal off the end. So part of the top, all the left, part of the bottom, remove, keep the right. Okay, here's how it's done. I'm gonna zoom in on my piece of tubing. I'm gonna draw a line from this inside corner straight up to the blue axis. So it's on the edge and click. Draw it here, inside corner, straight down on the blue axis, on edge, click. And I gotta push this piece of tubing in exactly one inch. So I push it forward, let it go, type in one, hit enter. And now I have a, it's in a notch cut one inch deep, I plug into my tubing. Let's try it. Take the tubing, zoom in on it, move top corner to the corner right there. I'll orbit it, make sure it's correct. Looks good, looks good. The bottom looks good. So for real, angle iron can be put together as a half lap or a full lap. That way, if you weld this whole seam shut, you have a watertight seam, take a photo for proof. Okay, angle iron, same way. Let's go over the angle iron. I'm gonna copy, control C, control V. Drop one there. I'm gonna grab this piece and rotate it. This blue axis, 90 degrees. It's heavy here too. I'm gonna plug the angle iron in, but I want to keep the back wall, lose the floor. So if I take and draw a small little line, so if in the shop what you might do is use like a, a grinder with a cutoff wheel, you would cut part of the angle iron off. Here we gotta push this in, how far? Yeah, that same one inch. Now if I grab this tubing over here, and then move it, from the top corner to this top corner. And then orbit, make sure it's correct. Looks good. Looks, oops, looks good. Get a photo for proof. So there's a lap joints and the butt joints. Hey, good luck.